Hey, this is Jerry Copeland Circle. Welcome back with another video for you. And this time we're talking about creating a hotspot so you can upload a map while you're on the bank. Now, there are times when you're going to get caught out. You might have forgotten to do it before you go fishing. But I mean, I always recommend that these things are done prior to your trip. If you know you're fishing at the weekend, a couple of days beforehand, jump onto your tablet, make sure that all your maps are in place. But sometimes you will get caught out. It happened to me only recently. I was planning to fish a lake, which whilst I was en route, I learned that it was fully booked up. And I then had to make a quick diversion to another lake, but I didn't have the map loaded up. So I needed to do it whilst I was on the bank. And the quickest and way, easiest way is using your hotspot from your phone. You set up your phone. So you go into the settings, go into your hotspot on your Wi-Fi, turn it on. And then when you go into your tablet, you will then pop into the settings, click on your hotspot account, add your password, and then close everything up because you're now connected to your Wi-Fi. Now just reopen up your Carp Lounge app, let the system reboot up, and the main map will come up, which is Carp Lounge Germany. The map will then change as the system finds the location of where the tablet is and you are up and running just remember to give your map then a squeeze in and out a rotation or two just so that all the information gets recorded into the cache of that area you're fishing in the latest update there is a new feature here where it shows you how many days you have left remaining to register your device this is the anti-theft protection system always check on this before you go fishing make sure you've got enough days and if not re-register there and then but if you are caught out on the bank where the system tells you you now have to re-register, creating a hotspot can help you get out of trouble. Then close everything off, and I would all suggest then rebooting the AIO controller from the very beginning. Turn all the power back on, let everything boot up, let the Carp Lounge app open, and you should be good to go again. Obviously, you've got to have good Wi-Fi coverage where you are. Sometimes that's not always the case. And if that's the case, you might have to just leave the lake for a little while and go somewhere where you're going to pick up a better signal. Bottom line is you're never going to be that stuck and you can, you can use the boat really well and, and mark your spots and everything without the map there. The map is kind of superfluous because everything's still getting mapped in. And then when you do eventually get home and reload up the map, you can see the spots on the map after the event. So it's not like life and death, but it's nicer to have the map in front of you so that you can see where you are on the lake and, and where your boat is going to. This is Jerry, Carpland Shackle, and we're going to see you soon.